This is Paul Simon with AllBusiness.com. I'm at the Sales 2.0 conference in San Francisco, and I'm here with Jim Dickey, managing partner of CSO Insights. CSO Insight publishes a yearly trends analysis in regarding sales performance. And what I'd like to ask Jim is his survey shows that 2009, as we all know, was a very difficult year. Sales performance was down, or effectiveness was down tremendously. So what do companies need to do to turn it around and start heading up on the bright side in 2010? Well, that's interesting, Paul. When we took a look at the numbers for 2009, we just finished our study and published it in, in February of this year. Uh, we had a drop in percentage of reps making quota from just around 59% to under 52%. It's the biggest drop in the history of our study. But when you look back, we did a lot of things to dis, a lot of disservice to our salespeople in 2009. We raised quotas in 86% of the cases, but we cut training budgets by 13% per rep. We ended up freezing or reducing marketing spend in 67% of the companies we surveyed. We saw an increase in the number of reps that individual managers were asked to manage, so I had less face time with my manager. So it's not really a surprise that we had a dip. What's really of concern is that in the 2010 study, we asked again, what are you doing for, two, for this year? And 85% of the companies are yet again raising quotas. So I think that things like the Sales 2.0 conference is what we're focused on is what are you going to do to help people make their new number? It's still a tight economic environment. We'd love the economy to turn around. But if it doesn't, what are we going to do to help them find more leads, win more deals, get larger margins, and keep more customers? And I think that's really going to require investments. So the thing we're really focused on this year is going out and taking a look at what are the best investments that you could make. Should you go out and be hiring 10 or 15 or 20 more sales guys, or should you maybe hire half that number and take the money and invest it in your sales force, people you already have? And if you invest it, what do you invest in? Do they need more sales skills? Do they need more CRM technology? Is this about giving them a different type of process? Do they need more sales support services? And I think those are things that companies really have to start asking themselves. But it's okay to raise the quota for salespeople as long as you raise the support level of services that you're providing them. And I think that's something that people tried to cut last year, and we found that it didn't work. So hopefully they'll learn lessons from 2009 and start making the right investments in 2010.